Hey guys, this is Austin with Austin and Leah Wizard content here. I am on my lower level ice with Leah. We are in Zephoria, level 55. This is going to be the ultimate learning spell guide for any school. For any school. So as you can see, I'm ice. So if you guys are always wondering, oh, I got training points. What do I need to learn? This is for questing only. This is going to be the best spell guide. All right. So, what you're going to do is you want to go to Ravenwood, Ice Teacher. You're going to want to learn Tower Shield. Once you learn up to Tower Shield and learn Tower Shield, do not learn anymore at all. You're done for ice school unless you want to do maybe PvP or something and maybe stun block. That's going to be for the arena area. Don't learn any more from the Tower Shield. After, well, after that. Then you're going to go to Death. You're going to go to Commons. Go under that waterfall. Go to Dwargan. You're going to want to learn Faint. Once you learn up to faint and learn faint, do not learn any more spells. Balance. This is for whether you're elemental, which is ice, storm, or fire, or spiritual, which is death, myth, or life. Uh, you're going to want to go to balance. For, the, for these spells, you're going to want to go to Crocotopia. You're going to need a membership if you don't got it. Uh, Go to Crocotopia, you're gonna get on the boat. The boat's gonna take you to Crocs Phoenix. You're gonna find the Balance Street Niles. He's gonna offer you um, <laughs> Elemental Blade and the Elemental Trap, or a Spiritual Blade and Spiritual Trap. So, the difference between Elemental and Spiritual Trap or Blade is that's gonna be Ice, Storm, and Fire. For Elemental, Spirit is gonna have Life, Death, and Myth on it. That's the only difference. You're gonna wanna use that. If you're ever questing or anything like that, you're gonna want to use the ice blade first, or realm one, or something like that, or whatever pops up first. Elemental blade that, blade that, and you're gonna want to use the amplify too. Amplify comes from Celestia. It is a star school. You can get that from the little star uh, vendor in Celestia. As soon as you go in, it's gonna be a little bit on the right, uh, like a little bit past that water, but on the right side. Uh, the fist here, there is, you're going to want to learn all these fists are called enchant. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you where to look for the fist at. And I'm also going to show you just the star scroll too, why not, right? Because it's kind of confusing, especially if you're new or playing Celestia for the first time. So... You want to learn these fists? You gotta learn these fists. These things are gonna make you so much more damage. Once you start getting these fists, they're gonna make you a pro. I'm telling you, you're gonna start doing double damage sometimes, if not more. So fists can be learned from this one. I personally don't like using this one because it doesn't give you all the fists that you need in Celestia. See, it's missing the uh, the other fist. It's just showing just the. The bow and arrows. I personally wouldn't go to only for the sun school. Only I wouldn't go there. <laughs> the star school amplify is gonna be right there. I just learned it. You're gonna want to learn amplify. Uh, <laughs> your damage for spells for four rounds. So for the sun school, you're gonna want to go to floating island for that uh, sun vendor, sun spell vendor. I know it doesn't make sense. Why does that one doesn't have a ball? I don't know why. It's been like this for a long time, pretty much since Celestia came out. So, right here, floating out, floating land. Right over here, as you can see, there's a little spawn point. Sun School Trainer. And as you can see right here, it's got keen eyes, and you got all the other stuff as well. So that's going to be it for you. Alright, now we're going to go... To Zafaria. I mean, excuse me, Bazaar.
Okay, guys, we're at the bazaar, so this is going to be a gear guide here. This is just going to be a step of one. Um, level 55, I'm still rocking, uh, well, this is the spooky car last level 10. I'm still rocking it. I like the accuracy, I like the damage and the health. That's the main thing for me that I like. And I also like pip chance, too. And this is the Mount Olympus gear. This is going to be Aquila. Uh, if you don't know what Mount Olympus is, it's like a side kind of area. The side quest you can get started from the myth teacher in Ravenwood starts around level 30. Uh, it's gonna tell you to go to Cyclops Lane, talk to the Cyclops guy, and then it's gonna take you to a chariot, and then you start talking to these guys in Aquila, and then you're gonna go into Mount Olympus. Mount Olympus is where I got my uh, shirt, my boots, wand. This wand is gonna be the best one until level maybe like 108 110 depending on your school uh I, for the one i prefer the damage over the critical at this time because as you get higher level i know this doesn't got critical anything like that in there i've checked the bazaar uh there's nothing that gives me like health accuracy and damage like all like the good kind of like balance kind of thing It'll be missing, like, it'll have accuracy and damage, but it'll be missing with health, for example. My health isn't important, too. So this is just a damage guide, uh, showing you guys what kind of stats to look for. You know, this is my ice pet. It's gonna be the max, like, ice damage you can ever get on a pet. Like, the max ice damage. I'll just show you what's on it. So we've got Mighty, which is just a jewel. You can craft these. Uh, the recipe vendor is gonna be, I think, the pet shop boys at the pet park. It's like a store that sells pets too. That's that. Uh, it's right there by the dancing game. It's near the dancing game. It's the building. Yeah, ice stiller. So the mighty makes the ice stiller go from 10 to up. Pain giver went from like 6 to 7. Same things. Everything's going up. I used to be like 3 then went to 4. Ice boom went from 3 to 4. It gives you so much damage. I mean. This used to be a warlord back at the low level pvp days for fourth uh, age and i used to have like 85 ice damage with like almost 50 resist and like 20 accuracy i had used to have the commander gear but they took the commander gear stats and stuff out the game so i can't really show you that but i used to use it and it used to be so fun all right so if you're new to the bazaar i'm gonna show you how to use this so you want to start a hat right Oops, click on that gonna find usable click on usable I normally go to the level button right there, it says level, I double click it, and it shows me the highest level, so I start looking at high. Sometimes you can find universal, for the schools will say universal symbol, for like any school can wear these. Me personally, the ones with the school symbols are typically going to be the best when it comes to like the hat, shirt, and boots, uh, all the time. That's just for the, the, the shirt, hat, boots only. Mainly gonna be your best. See, there's nothing good to like this. It gives you 18 ice critical, three accuracy, and 177 uh, health. It's like, where's the damage at, bro? Like, that's what I'm saying. I'm still rocking level 10 hat because it's still just that good for this time. Level 60 is when you're gonna get that waterworks gear. That is gonna be a side quest in uh, in Triton Avenue. You started off with a guy named Vlad. Blad Ravenblade or Blad Eye Ravenblade, something like that. I don't really know his name. 
He's on top of that little mountain uh, near the crack. And he's on top of it. It'll give you the side quest. You gotta be level 60 to do it. it takes you down in a crab alley. Then you do waterworks. I got a video on the waterworks guide. You guys wanna watch that? And let's see here for the wands. I'm gonna show you that, like, for my level, it's just critical and a gold boot. Maybe a little bit of block here and there. It's not worth it. The damage is way better. Because you're just gonna have critical on your gear later, especially level 60. And for these, I'm using Universal. I'm using a Wolf Bronze Claw. Gives uh, health, mana, pip chance, a, well, a lot of pip chance, and damage. That is what you're gonna look for. That's what you're gonna look for for that. Amulet. I did buy an amulet. Um, let's see, I gotta find it here. The charm of the black pearl amulet. That is gonna be the best amulet for a while. It gives 160 health. And it gives dark back. Dark back, you deal 300 moon damage to yourself. And you get a 35% blade to yourself. Now, I know they did change Dark Back, so this may just give you one blade, but I know the original Death Spell one gives you two blades. So this one probably just gives you one, I'm pretty sure. I just bought it, I gotta equip it. What are rings? Uh, what are rings I got? The uh, health, mana, tip chance, and the damage for mine as well. It's level 52, it's called Ring of the Wolf Song. When you get level 56, you'll start finding rings that sound similar like the grizzly heim stunning rings with more damage and stuff in there that's good for a while too Dex, uh i got a level 25 deck on i don't really need a big deck since i just use a lot of aoe spells like a simple aoe setup but it gives me five max ice copies which that means is i could use one spell a max five times so let's say if i want to use an ice snake right I could put a maximum of five ice snakes in my deck. And let's say if I want to use ice snake and I don't know, frost giant. I can have a maximum of five ice snakes and I can have five uh, ice giants in there too, but one, two. So that's what the max copies mean. And you can find some where I'll say like max copies four without a symbol, which just means any spells could be used four times each. So, like, for balance, you can use like four judgments. You can only pack four at a time. So. I got five on mine. I'm just gonna show you. You're gonna see these little dots here. That's not how many spells you have that same spell you can use. This is already got two of the uh, reindeer knight. That's five. For what I have the seven, it would give me two more times the reindeer. All right, and that's just gonna be my simple guide of showing you guys what path to learn from spells, quick and easy, bizarre. One trick about Bazaar is just because something is higher level does not always mean it's better. It does not always mean it's better at all. So whenever you get about level 60 or 58, I'd say 58 comes to the Bazaar. There's going to be some good gear for a little bit of critical. You're going to find some like neutral kind of gear. And then when you get level 60, that's when it's going to start giving you the better damage, the better crit, the good resist, and the healing outgoing and a better accuracy too so that's just my gear guide for now um, if you guys want better of this there is uh, after Gargant Swan and the floating land once you get done Zephoria I'm at the start of Zephoria once you pretty much get near the end of Zephoria there's going to be a side quest that I think the guy at Naga gives it to you in Zephoria the Zephoria commons area whatever you want to call it uh he gives you the um, side quest. I believe he gives you the side quest. I just know it's either that or Coco gives you the side quest. And Coco was going to be in the drum jungle. Uh, right before Elephant Graveyard. Drum jungle. She is going to be on the docks. Like a little wooden dock area. It's like a big old gorilla with like a looking weird head thing. She's pretty easy to find. Because you just work away through it. It's pretty much somewhat near the start of drum jungle. And once you do that side quest, you're going to defeat some, like, uh, death shaman elephant looking guys. And then you're going to unlock an astral... Sh I think it's like an astral... No, it's a sun, sh sun shrine. 
And it's gonna give you a uh, Colossal, which is like a purple fist. That's one spell to learn. And there's also another side uh, quest too that Anaga does give. The Naga is that zebra guy in the uh, Zafaria commons area. He's gonna give you, I think it's a quest called Astral Week. You gotta go to like Zamunda outskirts. I believe you kill some Greyhorn rhinos. And then you're gonna like a big giant gate is gonna open up and you're gonna find, it's either Berserk or Frenzy. I can't really exactly remember. It's a, another Aurora, kind of like Amplify, but it makes you do 30% more damage for four rounds on any uh, spells, but you intake, you take in, so you get hit 40% more damage from the enemies for four rounds too. So that's just the start guy from there. Uh, the Fist, once you get into like Polaris or something like that, like 110 or 120, somewhere around there, there's going to be a Fist that's going to be uh, gold, gonna be called uh, epic it's gonna give you 300 to the spell and once you get that done it's just gonna be in the arcanum arcanum is basically like uh another version of ravenwood but like the higher tier so like ravenwood is like your elementary through high school then you graduate and arcanum is like your college kind of like, like your college version of like ravenwood so i'm gonna show you guys how to use the enchant Some people don't know how to use them, they're pretty simple to use. We're just gonna go to Unicorn Way real quick. We're gonna go kill some little ghosts. Some ghost ghosts. Mm -hmm. Just if you guys are not familiar with how to use enchants and what they're used for. Um, I'm just gonna take out these spells really quick. And I'm gonna add in uh, Ice Beetles. <laughs> I'm gonna add four ice beetles in. I'm just gonna show you guys the importance of these spells are. Probably gonna use an aurora and like a blade, like an enchant. This is just a demonstration of like how much more damage it does. So I'm gonna start off showing like I normally show normal people. Just use ice beetle, don't use an enchant, but if you wanna use an enchant, you can click on that, then click on the beetle. And it's gonna turn to that, and you'll see more damage down there. So we're just gonna use the basic one for now. It's gonna kill the ghost. Don't worry, we'll get in another fight, and I'll show you. We're gonna try to remember that number of the damage it's gonna do. So this is just with my basic gear on my 65 damage that gear. So without the enchant, 156 damage, 156. That's not a lot. Maybe more than you know your regular. Unicorn Freshies Guys to start off. Alright. Now guys, now check out the enchant beetle real quick. Check out that. Hit the enchant beetle. So 156 with without the enchant. Let's see how much it does with it. 346. That is pretty much about doubled my damage right there. A little bit over double it. Look, I just doubled my damage there. Alright, so you see that. See that, alright, and there's a little, let's say you don't know what the elemental blade does, stacks with whatever your school blade is, as long as you're elemental, if you're spiritual, it'll be the uh, spirit blades, so let's put a little chain on there, this is my pet blade, but the same percentage as like a regular ice blade, I would recommend getting pets that give you like a good quest stuff like a blade, it stacks up so you can do more damage too. That's what I would recommend getting the pets to automatically give you stuff like like the ice blade or whatever your school is. So we're gonna use elemental blade, right? Gives you it costs one pip, that's the downside. But it gives you three blades. So my regular ice blade combines with the other ice blade. And then the Amplify right here, that's the Aurora. It'll be four rounds. Star School, you'll see it around your feet here. Add all that together with the AoE. AoE is attack all enemies, though. Which I don't have equipped because I just took out my reindeer or Frost Giants. We're just going to show you what a, what's going to do with a Frost Beetle. Add all these together for ultimate combo. Come your like ultimate questing combo right here. But we're going to have like a Frost Giant or... 
attack all spell. It's gonna do some damage. So that's 689 right there. Alright. Ultimate combo, guys. Not everybody's gonna have ring deer. Not everybody's gonna have it. But for your ice, storm, whatever you wanna use. Frost Giant is a level is a level 48 spell. Storm, you're gonna have Storm Lord, Fire, Fire Dragon. Myth is gonna be uh, Orthrus. Death is gonna be Scarecrow. Uh, life is going to be Force Lord now, I believe. Because it used to be Rebirth back in the day for it, but uh, it's not anymore. It's now Force Lord for 48. And if you're balanced, it's going to be Nova, I believe. I believe it's Nova. No, wait, is it Power Nova? I can't remember exactly what the balance one was. It's been a while. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Power Nova, though. It's gotta be. Alright, so we got that on. Put Amplify up. I'm just showing you what the AoE, this is how your typical combo is gonna wanna be. And you always got the faint that I told you guys to learn for a boss. So you're going to use the faint before, you know, the boss. Right before you get the boss. Alright, and we're just going to put the, the elemental blades in. go got the elemental blitz all right so if it was a boss add a fan in about now which there's not a boss yet it's just a regular enemy so we're gonna add this frost giant this is your ultimate combo it doesn't gotta be frost giant it's one of those spells whatever I said that you learn at level 48 you're gonna be running that combo for like the entire time Oh, I fizzled, of course. That's why accuracy is important. And gear. Alright. Here's all Santa Claus coming up. Day around Christmas time. About. We got Santa Claus over here. Frost Giant. <laughs> These are typical combos you're going to want to use. Boom, 2020 does it all. And this spell, specifically in Stormlord, stuns all the enemies, as long as they're not a boss. <laughs> so that's covered, and we're gonna be talking about spells today as well. So how you can tell about spells is top right right there, that's gonna be your school symbol what the spell is. Top left where it says five, that is gonna be how many pips it takes to cast the spell. Bottom left. That is going to tell you the accuracy, so you got an 80% chance of it actually working without fizzling. 80% adds on to your accuracy, so I got 89% of the chance of not fizzling. And then, see how that bottom right has got the little yellow pip looking thing? That tells you got attacks all. That is attacks pretty much single. And you can see them on pretty much all like single hits, and that's you, uh, gives you a bubble too. Ice Bell hits for 135, it gives you an ice bubble, which stays forever until somebody changes it. It gives you 25% more uh, ice things. Pretty much, it's just pretty much just that. Oops. Except for, uh, except for that, just hits like a breaker shield or something. And that tells you that it's still pretty much simple. See, yeah, it's got 100% accuracy. Means you won't never fizzle as long as they don't put a fizzle thing on you. Like a black mantle or anything. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope I helped you guys out there. Uh, I know some people that I've came across, I actually came out a lot of them. Like about a few, every few weeks I find somebody that's struggling with gear. They don't know about the bazaar. They don't know what like gear to follow. Uh... Your typical gear you're going to follow for like a lower level is health, accuracy, damage, and pimp chance. Uh, pimp chance is... Ah! Right there, you see it's like, it says 3% pimp chance, it's like the little yellow ball icon. It has pimp chance, the damage is the little fist. 
it says I do ice damage. If you don't see a symbol beside the uh, fist, it means it's universal. Same thing for the resist with this little shield icon. Uh, that's pretty much what you need to look for. Um, you will eventually find that's some critical on certain spells too. Alright, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Please click that like and subscribe button. And peace out, fellas. Peace out.